I can be honest and say dating as a single mother is literally one of the loneliest processes in the world. Especially if you're young, I'm 26, but you had my daughter at 22. For me personally, a lot of my actions were driven around me not feeling worthy of a relationship beyond something just sexual. A lot of it came from society and social media telling me like, oh, single moms don't deserve true love. Nobody could ever love you if you have a kid. You're too difficult to deal with. Hold up. Did I hear her correctly? She is literally shifting the blame of her choices of maintaining her relationships more physically based on negative social media comments. Are you crazy? I'm just plain stupid. This lady is an adult with complete free will and that includes accountability for individual choices. She can't just make a life decision and then, when it turns out to be not what she expected, lay the blame on other people. Does she blame social media for her choice of having a child too? But as I've gotten older, I just realized that like being a single mom, just like having brown hair and brown eyes and the color of my skin doesn't define all of who I am. It's a trait, it's something that's a part of me and who I am, but it just doesn't define what I deserve in this life. I say it's lonely because it does take a while. You kiss a lot of frogs. You find a lot of people who reaffirm that feeling of you aren't worthy of anything more than something sexual. But in loneliness, I feel like it allows you to do a lot of reflective work. You're able to build support systems around you and really build yourself up so that when that perfect person does come along, you know how to act and receive. A person deserves what they allow and build for themselves. If this young lady allowed her relationships to be based on physical intimacy, well, that is what she deserves. A person cannot act one way and then claim they deserve something else. Also, the expectations of that perfect man coming along after kissing a lot of frogs, aka Chad's and Tyrone's, is highly questionable. What does she define as the perfect man and why should he settle for her? In this short rant, all I have heard is a young mother who admits to being highly promiscuous with a lot of frog men who wants the perfect man. I didn't hear what she has to offer him other than another man's child and high mileage. I'm not being cruel. I am literally recognizing what she is saying. My female viewers will not argue what I just said, but they will argue how I said it. It doesn't change the fact that Everything I said was on the mark. Moving on. For this young lady, it's really a matter of mate selection. I'm going to assume she willingly had intercourse with the baby daddy and has decided to keep the child. Notice all of this is her personal choice with no one forcing her. If she isn't treated the way she wants during her pregnancy, or as she put it, spoiled, well, she can look in the mirror as to the main reason this is happening. Accountability is a big thing, ladies. It starts and ends with you. I'm not excusing a bad relationship partner, but Remember, he was your choice. Let me flip the script with a very real flip side. Imagine being the loving, faithful husband who does everything for his pregnant wife, spoils her, and is full of immense hope and love for his child-to-be and his family's future. Now imagine after giving your wife everything during her pregnancy and for years, then down the road, she is not in love with you anymore. She's not happy. She cheats on you, divorces you, and takes half of everything you sacrificed for. Who should we feel more sorry for? The pregnant girl in the video or the husband who has his family taken from him. Damn! That's what I thought. Moving on. A day in the life of a sad single mom. First, I wake up in my big queen bed without anyone poking me with their frisky eggplant. And ask all those single ladies how awesome it feels not having that eggplant there. But she is right. How awesome it must be knowing that no one desires to wake up next to her or showing her how they are aroused by her with physical intimacy. What woman wants a man to give her his raw energy in the morning? Gee, let me think. I make my way to the washroom where the toilet seat is down and I have to sit on a seat that's not covered in urine splashes. I head to the kitchen for my coffee and I notice there's still coffee left because I was the last one to use it. I head to my nice clean fridge where I find a full container of creamer. In other words, she doesn't find a cup of coffee already made for her waiting there. Or possibly either she can make breakfast for a loving protecting man who appreciates her making it. Nope, none of that. A full bottle of coffee made is all a woman wants. 
I then water my plants and think about buying another one because there's no one to tell me I have too many. After my coffee, I brush my teeth in a sink that has no beard trimmings. Who is this lady trying to kid? No beard trimmings in the sink is something to be thankful for. We all noticed she zoomed in on that sink because women take up 95% of all the sink space for their makeup, lotions, soaps, brushes, you name it. Men will be lucky if they have enough free space for their toothbrush, shaving cream, and a razor. I then open my cupboard and admire all of my perfectly labeled jars where no one can tell me how ridiculous it is to put already packaged things in glass containers. It's a sad life, I know, but maybe one day if I'm super lucky, I can have a third adult child to take care of all on my own. I applaud this woman. It has to be so awesome not having another adult child to take care of. That would mean as he is a child, she would be the one paying all the bills and fixing everything that breaks and doing all the maintenance and lifting all the heavy things, right? If you agree or disagree with anything about this audit, please let us know in the comments. I'm gonna leave this audit right here. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Thanks for tuning in.